Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal Gladiator saving Mikel Arteta millions in summer transfer window and then we're going to look at Willian already revealing his next move after leaving Arsenal as he makes transfer decision. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal Gladiator could save Mikel Arteta millions in summer transfer window. So the reports are stating that Arsenal already have a centre-back who has been compared to Tony Adams and it's not William Saliba. Arsenal have a gladiator centre-back who could save Mikel Arteta millions in the summer transfer window and it's not William Saliba. Mikel Arteta and transfer chief Edu are expected to strengthen throughout the squad this summer but can already call on a defender who has been compared to Gunners legend Tony Adams. Konstantinos Mavropanos has earned rave reviews after spending the season on loan at Stuttgart with the Bundesliga club's manager Pellegrino Matarazzo describing him as a monster. The 23-year-old has been a regular for the mid-table club and has earned tentative comparisons to four-time title winner Tony Adams for his ability to read the game. Konstantinos Mavropanos has recorded an 82.4% pass accuracy while also winning 71% of his aerial duels this season in the German top flight, having played 1,675 minutes. The two-footed centre-back has also chipped in with an assist and was described by legendary Gunners boss Arsene Wenger as top quality. And as Mikel Arteta prepares to welcome back William Saliba, this summer following his loan spell at Nice, the Arsenal boss could also take a look at Dinos Mavropanos, although Stuttgart are keen to keep the Greek ace around for next season. He's our gladiator, said Matarazzo. He's a monster in terms of physique, and when he makes a mistake, he hums around some Greek swear words. I like that. He's just a tough dog. Wenger gave Mavropanos his full debut in a 2-1 defeat to Manchester United back in 2018 when the defender was just 20. And then the Gunners boss believed the youngster had surprised many with the way he transferred his promise on the training ground into a big game performance. In training, he has shown top quality but then you always have a question mark as long as you don't see the under pressure in a big game, said Wenger afterwards. Until that, you don't know. The big players do better in the competition than in training. They make a career. The others, we have many players at our level who do less well in competition than in training. That was a question mark and I think he did well. He surprised everybody by his quality today. Since then, Dinos Mavropanos has had loan spells at PAS Giannia in his native Greece and Nuremberg in the Bundesliga. With Miklos Setter said he and Edu are in regular discussions with low manager Ben Napa over the progress of Dinos Mavropanos and William Saliba during their respective spells away from the club. We are having meetings very often to assess what they are doing and obviously we are getting all the information and watching the games because I want to keep a very close eye on what they are doing. So it looks like Arsenal may have their new Tony Adams in the form of Dinos Mavropanos and he is someone that could be Arsenal's gladiator and could save Arsenal millions in terms of the summer transfer window. So you have to wait and see how this pans out. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Willian has already revealed his next move after leaving Arsenal as he makes transfer decision. So the reports are stating that Arsenal news includes previous comments from Willian on his future, the attacking midfielder arrived at the Emirates Stadium on a free transfer last summer after leaving Chelsea, and Willian's time as an Arsenal player could be short-lived. The 32-year-old arrived at the Emirates Stadium on a free transfer last summer after his contract at London rivals Chelsea expired and enjoyed an impressive debut recording multiple assists in a 3-0 win over Fulham on the opening weekend of the new Premier League season. However, the Brazilian has not been able to build on that showing, and only scored his first goal in Arsenal colours against West Brom, West Brom in his 37th appearance across all competition. But if reports are to be believed, Willian won't have too many chances to add to that tally. According to the Athletic, the attacking midfielder is one of at least five senior Arsenal players to have made a transfer decision ahead of the summer transfer window. The report states that Gunners staff are under the impression that Willian, along with David Luiz, Bert Leno, Granit Xhaka and Hector Bellerin all want to leave the club this summer. 
Having signed the Brazilian to a three-year deal last summer, there's a good chance that the Gunners will make a profit if they decide to grant Williams' wish by allowing him to depart earlier than expected. Furthermore, this scenario could provide a golden opportunity for technical director Edu to raise significant funds and bolster Miklos Setzer's first team squad in the summer. But what are the attacking midfielder's plans for when he does leave Arsenal? Well, a return to Brazil has been ruled out as Willian has already revealed that he wants to remain in Europe and hasn't closed the door on playing in the United States before retiring. Look. I always say that sometimes we make plans but sometimes the plans change, William told UOL, as per sport witness earlier in the season. Today, in my head, I don't have this objective. I have neither the desire to nor the objective to play in Brazil. I intend to stay in Europe anyway, leaving Europe going to another market, United States, I don't know, another market, but we make plans. Sometimes things can change. So today, I replied to you that I don't have this thought of playing in Brazil again. With that said, it is understood that William is happy at Arsenal and is not intent on leaving the club this summer. So it looks like William has already revealed his next transfer move after leaving Arsenal as he does make a strong transfer decision. So it looks like William is someone that was being a failed transfer for the Gunners and he is someone that has struggled to play in red colours and someone that has struggled to make a huge impact other than the game versus Fulham in the first match. And in terms of William, he only scored his first goal recently in the game versus West Brom. It was a nice free kick by William and we know that he's a specialist when it comes to free kick and he's very good when it comes to dead ball situations. But even though William was signed on a free transfer is reported that he earns more than £200,000 per week. So in terms of Arsenal, many people criticise Mikel Arteta and Edu for this, for this transfer. But in terms of Willian, he is someone that I want to see leave the club because he doesn't make an influence on the team and prevents the youngsters from playing. But other than that guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.